So uh, let's look at the next question. So I have 3 to the power of 5x plus 8 equal to the 27 to the power of x. So what side of the base I'm going to change? We'll change it. The 27, right? The 3 is going to be my base, right? So what would I, 27 is 3 to the power of what? Yep. Yeah, 3 to the power of 3 is 27. Okay? So all, it's going to stay the same. Nothing is going to happen. And then on the right, I'm going to change 27 to 3 to the power of 3. Can you just wait, look here for a second? So that 27 is 3 to the power of 3. And then we have the x. So I'm not going to forget that. So I'm going to do 3 to the power of 3 to the power of x. Twenty-seven is three to the power of three. That's right. So that means we are gonna have taxes. Then we're gonna see what we're gonna do with it. You'll see. It's, yeah, we're gonna have to put on the same side. That's right. So how can I simplify the right side? Because I have three to the power of three to the power of x. What would be my rule for power to the power? Multiply. Power to the power, you multiply the exponent. Right? That's why we learned the exponent laws first. Okay? So, this side is going to stay the same. 5x plus 8, nothing is going to change. Because I have power to the power, I'm going to have to multiply that power. So, it's going to be 3 to the power of 3x. So, you see that... I have the same base now, right? So I base and I can make my exponents equal to each other. So I have 5x plus 8 equals to 3x. So what do you do to solve for x? Bring the x's to one side and move the other one to the other side. So always you want like terms on the same side. So I can bring the 3x over here, and I can bring the 8 to the other side, right? So that gives me 5x. What happens when I bring the 3x to the other side? Minus 3x is going to become subtraction. And then when I bring the 8 over, it's going to become So what's 5x minus 3x? 2x. 2x equals negative 8. And now you divide by 2, which is x equals negative 4. Let's check our answer. Okay. So let's see if I put 3 to the power of 5 times negative 4 plus 8 is equal to 27 to the power of negative 4. So that's 3, negative 20 plus 8. So that's 3 to the power of 12. What? What's 3 to the power of negative 12? It's 1 over something. And then what would be 27 to the power of negative 4? Negative. So it's going to be 1 over 5, 3, 1, 4, 4. Is that the answer? 5, 3, 1, 4, 4. What did I just miss? You, you did not put the negative. 27 to the power of negative. If I did 
my check, right, it turns out to be the same answer, okay? So that means the left side is equal to the right side, which is what I am looking for. So this is in the case I have x's on both sides, okay? Remember that you have the power to the power rule, guys, and then a lot of people mess up that it's three times x, okay? Be careful with that. A lot of people mess up that it's three times x and make it three plus x, which is that's the biggest problem. So 4 to the power of what gives you 8? 4 to the power of 2 gives you what? Uh -huh. So I can't use the, the base of 4. 8 to the power of what gives you 4? Sometimes you have to change both bases. 2. 2. Right? 2 to the power of what gives you 4? 2 to the power of what gives you 4? 2 to the power of 2. So I'm going to change this as 2 to the power of 2, and then to the power of 2x minus 4. Okay? So the first thing I changed is I changed this base of 4 to 2 to the power of 2. Now, 2 to the power of 2 gives you 8. 2 to the power of what gives you 8? Three. 3. So I change the 8 to 2 to the power of 3, and then I still have the 3x minus 2 outside. So I change the base of 8 to 2 to the power of 3. I have the 2. I have to multiply this by this. So that's going to give me 4x minus 4 because 2 times 2 gives Now, for the other side, I have a base of 2. And then I'm going to have to multiply that 3 by this whole thing. Look what happens. To multiply that 3 by the whole thing, that's 3x minus 2. So I'm multiplying the 3 by 3x minus 2. So I have to put the 3x minus 2 in bracket. In this case, there's already a bracket. So all what I did is I multiplied the 2 by the 2. Okay? Then I will deal with the bracket later. Okay? But for this one, because there's no bracket, I have to put the brackets in. So I multiply it by the whole thing. Okay? Now... Bases are the same, so I can drop the bases, and I can make my exponents equal to each other. 4x minus 4 equals to 3, 3x minus 2. Expand, then simplify. Okay? So if I want to expand this, I'm going to multiply the 4 in, and I'm going to multiply the 3 in. 4. 
or not for the, the distribute. So it's going to be 4x minus 16 equals to 9x minus 6. Any questions about this? Wait, how did you get 16? I'll multiply the 4 times the x and the 4 times the negative 4. Right? Because I'm distributing. And then I multiplied the 3 by the 3x, that gives me 9x, and the 3 by the negative 2. So, I have 4x minus 16 equals 9x minus 6. What do you do to solve for this? move the negative 6 toward the negative 16 okay so I have negative 16 plus 6 because I'm moving this over and then I have the 9x and I'm moving the 4x over so it's going to be minus 4x so that gives me negative 10 equals to 5x then I divide by 5, and that means x equals negative 2. This is not an easy one. I finish teaching this lesson, you want to go try to do this by yourself again. Okay? Write it on a piece of paper, try it again by yourself. Let's look at the word problem. Cross country skier forgets a mug of coffee and a muffin in a snowbank. Their temperatures in degrees Celsius after T minutes can be modeled by the formula T for coffee is equal to 81 times 3 to the power of negative 2T and T of muffin is 27 times 3 to the power of negative 1. Determine when the coffee cools to the same temperature as the muffin. Asking me for? How long it takes to cool? How long? So, time, right? So, I'm looking for the time because how long it takes it to cool to the same temperature as the muffin. So, that means I'm looking for. T muffin is equal to T coffee. I'm looking for when the T of the coffee is equal to the T of the muffin. Right? What's the equation for the T coffee? So 81 times 3 to the power of negative 2T. What's the equation for T muffin? So 27 <coughs> times 3 to the power of negative 1. Okay? How am I going to solve 40? What do you think you want to do first? What do you recommend? Do I have the same base? but I have this 81 and 27 that I don't really like. Wait, three, three is the base, yeah. Three is your base. But then in order for you to be able to, to do anything to make the exponent equal to each other, 
you want to get rid of this. Can I write 81 as a 3 to the power of something? Yeah. 3 to the power of what gives you 81? Four. 4. Times 3 to the power of negative 2t. How about 27? Can I write it as a 3 to the power of something? you have a to the power of m times a to the power of n because you have the same base you keep the base you add your exponent go back to your first lesson so that, means you add that, mean, that means yes I add the exponent on this side so I have keep the same base and I'm adding my exponent. 4 plus minus negative 2. T. How about on the right side? Can I do the same thing? I'm just writing them nice and neat. 3 plus minus 1, that gives me 2. So I have the same base and I have an equal sign. What do you think you want to do right now? Since you have the same base, what do you do with your exponent? Wait, why didn't you minus No, no, no. Ask the question. Why didn't you minus 4 minus 2t? Can I do 4 minus 2t? Well, it would just be a t. Yeah, Are they a like term? No. So I can't minus them. So I have the same base. What do I do with the exponent? The exponents are then equal to each other, right? I drop my base now because I have 3 to the power of 4 minus t equals to 3 to the power of 2. So now I have the same base, then I can make my exponent equal to each other. So minus 2t equals 2 minus 4. I brought the 4 over. So minus 2t equals to negative 2, divide by negative 2, then t equals to 1. So that means when the coffee cools to the same temperature as the muffin, after one minute. So the temperature of the coffee is the same as the muffin after one minute. You guys, if you don't know your exponent laws, you won't be able to solve this. So if you don't know that when I'm multiplying with the same base, that means I have to add my exponent, or when I have power to the power, that means I multiply, or if you don't know this, you're not going to be able to do these questions. 
okay? Make sure you go back and review your exponent laws so you can solve these questions. Otherwise, you cannot solve these questions.